All right, so now we're going to go ahead and work on the uh, gate portion. Um, it's really important to understand that the uh, affected side must uh, know how to accept the weight of the body. So the first thing we're going to really do is just facilitate this glute med and glute max and just do some weight shifting through this rhythmic initiation. Okay. Okay. Now that the patient knows what I expect of them, I want you to go ahead. I'm going to block here. And I want you to step forward with the right, good, and step back with the right. So we're just going to do that a couple times. And I, I can't tell you how many times you need to do it. It just depends upon what your patient can do and understand. So now that we've got a good understanding of that for the patient, now we're going to lean to your right and we're going to step forward to the left. I'm going to facilitate that by just dragging her foot along there. And now I'm going to go ahead and bring you, help bring you back, good. All the while I'm guarding and she's holding on to the countertop here, which is a really good, easy um, assistive device that you can do. Okay, so now let's go ahead and advance that leg forward again. Okay, and bring it back. You know, when, you're, when you are uh, weight bearing on this affected side, you wanna make sure you're always guarding, like a shin to shin or a knee to knee technique, because that way that'll tell the, uh, the patient where they are in space, plus it gives them a sense of um, uh, control uh, of that quad. So now that we've got both of those understood, what you can do here for exercises are very similar to the seated ones. So go ahead and push into my, uh, don't let me move you. Good, stop. Don't let me move you. Stop. Don't let me move you. Stop. Don't let me move you. Good. So again, that um, stabilizing reversals will be really good and beneficial um, for the patient to be able to know how to transfer the weight side to side. You will do the same thing too, so lean uh, that forward here, so you can do a mid stance. So now go ahead and don't let me move you. 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 You can also do this to improve that core strength as well. Don't let me move you, so I'm gonna do some rhythmic uh, stabilization. Don't let me move you. So those hands switch back and forth. Don't let me move you. Don't let me move you, okay? And also here, what you can do is don't let me move you. Don't let me move you. Okay, so all these different things you can do to help facilitate um, uh, this, this gait. So let's go ahead and bring this leg back. Okay, now we're ready to walk and we don't have to go fast uh, because we're just trying to put all these parts together for the patient. So I'm guarding, um, again, emphasize that weight bearing and go ahead and step forward with the right. Okay, I'll help you with the left. Okay, and then Yep, go ahead and bring your arm up. I'm gonna stay right here and I'm gonna bring that chair along with me. So in case the patient loses their balance, that we have it ready for. So go ahead and step forward with the right. So we'll bring the left. Okay, now hold on a sec. Okay, step forward with the right. And then now the left. Now also, you don't wanna be so guarded that the patient uh, has like no control because when I pull so hard one way, they're they're going to be completely uh, their center of gravity is going to be completely outside of the base of support. So you want to allow a little bit of degrees of freedom for them to make some errors so they can rely on that internal or intrinsic feedback. All right, so go ahead and step forward with that again. I'm still guarding. Now I'm going to bring help scoot that one there. How are we doing? Are you feeling okay? Think, think you need to rest? That sounds good to me. So. Uh, do you feel the chair behind you up there? I want you to reach back and then slowly sit yourself down. 